Hello everyone, my name is Nicholas, or you can call me Nick. I'm making this video to explain my New Year's resolution for 2021. It is currently... It is currently 9.30pm Pacific time here, so... Two and a half hours till midnight. I pray that 2021 is a lot better than 2020. But... Anyway... So my New Year's resolution for next year is to go on more auditions, try to get into film festivals, and just overall meet a lot of people in the act, a lot more people in the acting community. My my friends tell me some of the best ways to achieve your goals is to meet people in the community. Um, I met a few friends back when I, um, to college classes and we collabed and made a couple films together and, um, that friend asked me to be in another one of his films and he submitted it to a, a really big film festival. I believe it was, it was Burbank International Film Festival. He called his film a tender tale. Um, I uploaded uh, my clip. You can you can check it out if you want. It was it was really 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 fun to do. <laughs> and I was the. I was amazed that the film, the film I believe made it to the finals. We didn't win, but the fact that it made it into the finals was, really really amazing. It was a true honor. Um, I'm hoping to collab with this friend again. He lives in San Diego now. So it's a bit of a drive for me, but it's only about 90 minutes. So yeah, hopefully we can collab again. Uh, shout out to the friend if you're watching this. Um, so yeah, and, and and another goal that I have is to reach affiliate on Twitch. I have 141 followers, I believe, but I need an average of three viewers, and that's the difficult part. Um, getting people to um, watch your content and enjoy it. My average viewers is about one to two viewers. I checked my Twitch summary a couple hours ago and it was averaging two viewers so I need to average at least three and I think that goes for monthly so I need to average like three viewers by the end of the month if I want to reach affiliate I know I'm not going to reach partner because partnership um, requires an average of 75 viewers and I don't want to do streaming full time because it because it that nah, because it isn't what I want to do with my life. It's just some. It's just something to pass the time. I got into I got into streaming because of the pandemic. And after the pandemic, um, I'm hoping to, like I've like I mentioned a couple minutes ago, um, pursue more acting stuff. I'm actually hoping to work with my cousin as well. He's a potential filmmaker and uh, hopefully hopefully we can get in some film festivals as well. Uh, we were going to submit something for the Disability Film Festival that was happening in April but um, the, as you know the pandemic happened and everything was closed down so yeah it's just unfortunate so I'm hoping the pandemic gets I'm hoping the pandemic is gone soon um, the, good, the good news is, is that the vaccine is real so we have that to look forward to uh, but um yeah, that's that's pretty much my New Year's resolution for twenty twenty one. 
uh, getting into film festivals, going on more auditions, meeting more people in the acting community, acting community, getting to collab with more people in the acting community. And who knows? Maybe I'd maybe I would want to venture out. Maybe I would want to help help out with directing or. Um, um, do some voiceover. The agency that I'm with actually has a good um, voiceover department, so I might look into that. I actually did grow a little bit of a passion for voiceover um, uh, when I was younger, I believe, when I was 19 or 20, but um, I just um, decided to still keep pursuing on-camera acting, but uh, voiceover acting is um, probably something I want to get invested in again because um uh, while voiceover isn't um as well known as on camera acting it's still a, it's still a really 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 good career to have especially if um you have a really really good resume in the um um voiceover business such as my good friend Tara Strong. She voices a lot of characters. My personal favorite is Ashi from Samurai Jack and Raven from Teen Titans and my good friend Grey Griffin who voiced Azula in Avatar The Last Airbender and Vicky from Fairly Odd Parents and Sam from Danny Phantom just to name a few. So Yeah. Um, so yeah, that's my New Year's resolution for twenty twenty one. I know that I know there's gonna be some bumps in the road along the way because to achieve to achieve your goal, you're going to run into some bumps in the road. But my good friend Ashley Eckstein said, if you want to live your dream, you have to do it. You have to pursue it. You have to keep at it. So. Um, that's what that's what I'm trying to do and sorry that I keep rubbing my eyes um, something got in it so that's why I've been rubbing it so um, yeah anyways here's hoping 2021 is a better a much much better year than 2020 ever was and I hope you all um, have had a great New Year's Eve, and I hope you have a good, happy New Year. Never let your dreams be dreams. Always pursue them. Never give up, and keep at it. All right, guys. Thank you so much for watching, and I will talk to you later. All right. Take care. Bye.